A couple years ago, I was at Chino from the Deftones house, uh, helping him set up his home studio. And uh, I got to see a little bit of like what he was using for the distortion on his vocals. When someone asks me for like the Deftones style distortion sound, first of all, I'm always pumped because I really like that sound. If people don't know what it is. It's basically like dark, but distorted. Distortion get irritating. So the dark part's like really important. And then kind of like soaring too. So I'm doing it a little bit of a different way than I saw at Chino's, but someone asked me to apply this to a chorus of their song today. It's this band, The Death of Us from the UK. They're like a shoegaze band, super good. So why don't we just walk through how to get this sound? It's super easy, and I think you'll find it sits really well in the mix. Okay, so this is the chorus right here, this block. I guess it cuts right there. So that is chorus, and I just automated one plugin combined with a vocal send that I love in general and makes this sound really good too. So it is literally uh, <laughs> the, maybe one of the cheesiest plugins ever. This is such a secret weapon. It's old. Um, I've been using it forever and it seems like every time I do, people really like it. Um, I love the way the drive sounds on this CLA FX plugin. Um, there's probably newer and cooler ways to do it, but this is really effective. So coming out of here, we're gonna swap down or switch into, and you'll see this unbypass. there's my automation line, and we can check out this chorus, then we can solo it as well. And you can probably hear some of those effects ringing out in the background there. All right, let's actually solo these. Now, mind you, all of these vocals, the red ones, are bussing to my main vocal bus. So this is uh, main, double, those are at different volumes. And then I've got our right and left or left and right dub here. So if I solo just the main vocals, that's what's hitting the effects unit. Don't say it too loud, cause it hurts so much. The reason a distorted vocal is so easy to sit in a dense mix is because distortion is effectively also compression. So your waveform just gets like, boop, totally squashed. And then you're just kind of like, take your fader, put it where it feels about right, and you're kind of done. The other cool thing too is that distortion adds upper harmonics. So those kind of pop out of the mix a little bit easier too. So the whole thing feels like this cohesive sort of dark, warm, fuzzy blanket that I love. I have one more thing I want to show you. You probably heard those delay trails in the background. That's not coming from the CLA plugin. Um, that is coming from Echo Boy. So I've got Echo Boy on Ascend here. And you're probably thinking like, does Jay only use plugins from 2007? It would appear that way today. <laughs> I'm actually a pretty modern person, but this is dead simple. So the preset is Starlight. You'll find it under uh, Reverb, I think, wherever, yeah, Reverb's and Spaces. It's down here somewhere. Um, my one step process is you just pick that or make two step, turn the mix all the way up, make it fully wet because it's Ascend, not an insert, right? And then the, th the main thing here is you want to filter after starlight because starlight gets bright. It's called star bright. So if I bypass this EQ and turn it way up, you'll hear it's like crazy. Don't Do you hear how like all of the um, all of the echoes like they get kind of unintelligible. It just turns into a wash. But when you filter it and you put it at the right volume, all of a sudden it sounds way better. So I'm just chopping off like everything under 200 Hertz ish and just like making like a warm, I call this like a warm mid range curve that really supports the diction of the vocal, which is going to stand out front. So let's listen just real quick. Last thing, the filtered version of Starlight. Don't say it to All right, and just for fun, I'll play with everything on. So remember, this is on just the chorus, feeding into my send, and on my send, it goes in this order, starlight first, and then we filter down sort of the annoying and the rumbly frequencies out of starlight, and then just move the fader to taste. Don't say 